She's on her way. just a minor one. A skull and crossbones says more than a thousand words in Turkish. Nifty cheap. Why steal a car for the thrill? Sure, but barring that, I've already got one. The rental car I came here in. This excavation site is all I've got to go on. It's best if I take a good look around first. There's a chain hung between these concrete blocks. The chain's not doing anyone any good. I'll take it with me. The cell phone with Emre's message. A long iron chain. A skull and crossbones says more than a thousand words in Turkish. Without a map, I'll be turned around and back to front before I've started. I'll take a look around first. Garbage. Experience has taught me to go through garbage thoroughly, because you find useful stuff all the time. A bicycle spoke. To the untrained eye, it may appear useless, but since it was in the garbage, we experts know that it will prove invaluable. A bicycle spoke. Come on, Nina, you have got to get this hoarding thing under control. Completely empty. But from the outlines on the walls, you can tell that a lot of equipment was being stored here. Heavy bars cover the window. Anyway, I doubt there's anything useful still inside. It says Mehmet Terim. No idea who that is. The police, or whoever was here, did a thorough job. I won't be able to get in there. Obviously used as office space, and obviously ransacked already. All the filing cabinets are open, the floor is covered in paper, and all that's left of the computers are a few cables and screens. Someone did a thorough job. A barred window. Without an angle grinder, there's nothing I can do. The name on the door is Emre Dardogan. The door is blocked up and sealed off. I'd need some pretty heavy equipment to get in there, but then there wouldn't be much left at the cabin. I don't think I'm going to be able to pick the lock with a bicycle spoke. A crack under the door. I can't reach far enough under the door. Maybe I can pull something towards me, there. Max's name is on one of the snippets. I have to know. I have to piece them together. I'm pretty sure I've got that bit right. I'll leave it there.
fax from Emre to Max with a cell phone number and research results. If I understand it correctly, then the temple complex they're excavating was buried on purpose over 10,000 years ago. Strange. Why would someone do that? Aha, uh -huh. looks like Emre asked himself the same question. His examination of the sediment layers from the period indicated severe crop failures but only in the vicinity of the temple complex. The scientists have excluded the climate as the cause. The crop failures were too local for that. Strange. A fax from Emre to Max with a cell phone number and research results. If I understand it correctly, then the temple complex they're excavating was buried on purpose over 10,000 years ago. Strange. Why would someone do that? Aha, uh -huh. looks like Emre asked himself the same question. His examination of the sediment layers from the period indicated severe crop failures, but only in the vicinity of the temple complex. The scientists have excluded the climate as the cause. The crop failures were too local for that. Strange. Emre's cell phone number was with the documents. Maybe I can get him there. Max! Finally, I was getting worried. Emre? Emre Dardogan? Who is this? And how the hell did you get your hands on my friend's cell phone? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Nina. Nina Kalinkov? Max's fiance? Right. Where's Max? Max was... kidnapped. What? I watched it happen. Damn. It must have something to do with our research. Emre, I need to know everything. What research? Who kidnapped Max? Probably the same people who came for me. We're onto something incredible. Can we meet? No. We had an earthquake at the Potbelly Hill dig site. I'm cut off from the surface. Well, as it happens, I'm here too. I witnessed the earthquake firsthand. Maybe I can help you. Okay. It won't be easy. You have a plan? You can't reach the underground part of the temple complex without the elevator. And I've got the only key. The elevator is at excavation lot C. There's a map of the complex in my jeep at the entrance. Stupid question? Why don't you just come up here to me? I did mention that I'd been cut off from the elevator, didn't I? There's a drill somewhere up there. You'd have to use it to drill a hole through to me so I can give you the key. And another stupid question. Where am I supposed to drill for heaven's sakes? This complex is enormous. I'll use my cell to record a video of this room and send it to you. Uh, perhaps there's something in here that will tell you where I am on the surface. In any case, I smell oil. Maybe start with that. I'm sending the MMS to you now. Less than one battery bar left. Fingers crossed. I've got the MMS, but I'm not getting through to Emre anymore. I've retrieved the map of the dig site from Emre's car. The excavation site map from Emre's car should keep me from getting lost. A basic elevator connecting ground level to the temple excavation below. I need a key for the elevator. Rocks everywhere, but this one is particularly large. I can't move it. Solid rock. I wonder if this is the part of the temple that Emre's buried in. Burrow through solid rock with my bare hands. No. A tall tree. Aha. Uh -huh. That's Spider Man you're thinking of. A puddle of water. The water looks clean, but I probably shouldn't drink it. A diesel pump chugging away. I think it's pumping groundwater out of the excavation site. I don't think the pumps were installed for the fun of it. I'd better not touch them. There's oil leaking from the pump's engine. No, I had my yearly oil bath last week. A thick stone pillar. I'd better not knock anything over. A small bush. There's nothing there.
The ground is red here. Some kind of clay. I'll take some of that earth, just for the hell of it. A chunk of dry red earth. A rugged gasoline-driven rock drill. I can put up with quite a lot as far as carrying things is concerned, but that drill is just way too heavy for me. If I need it, I know where to find it. A rugged gasoline-driven rock drill. Emre sent me this MMS from the temple room with his cell phone. The video does give me something to go by. I have to find out where this room is located and how to get Emre out of there. The loud fluttering noise I heard in the video was made by bats, I think. Emre mentioned that it smells of oil in the chamber. The video that Emre sent me shows a pile of rubble in the chamber. Maybe I can use that. I could hear an engine at some distance in Emre's video. The question is, what kind of machine does that engine belong to? Hmm, I distinctly saw reliefs in the video. There were tree roots coming through the ceiling of the chamber Emre is in. That might be possible. The tree's roots are probably old and long enough. Yep, that might be the engine I heard in the video. If the oil seeped down through a crack, yes, that could be what Emre's smelling. Looking about, this is the only place that seems logical. The sound of pumping, the tree roots, and the smell of oil. I must be in the right place. Looking about, this is the only place that seems logical. The sound of pumping, the tree roots, and the smell of oil. I must be in the right place. Burrow through solid rock with my bare hands. No. Okay, this is the spot. I'll get the drill and try to bore through. Maybe I can still get this key from Emre. Hey, Nina! Good job! Have you got the key? Max wasn't exaggerating. You're really capable. Did he also mention my dog of determination? Have you got the key? I'm afraid it's not that easy. There's a good few meters between us. Uh, we need some way to get the key to you. All right, I'll think of something. Emre's down there. Somehow I need to get the elevator key upstairs. It's done its job. I have my access to Emre. I'll leave it here. Emre? Yes? I'm lowering a chain. Attach the key to it. All right. I've got it. Pull up the chain. I've got it. I'm on my way. Be careful. The key for the elevator to the lower levels of the dig. on this level. 
the elevator call button. A mining helmet. A mining helmet with ventilation holes. A locked wooden box. A locked wooden box. The elevator is at the top. I can't ride the elevator as long as it's on the upper level. Heavy. A locked wooden box. Broke open a charm. Let's see if anything survived. Wrench, a hammer, and an empty plastic bottle. There's nothing useful left here. A hammer. A small pipe wrench. An empty plastic bottle. A bit dented, but otherwise undamaged by the looks of it. I've crushed the earth into powder. Red dust. That must be the bridge Emery talked about. The earthquake has collapsed the bridge. Not even legendary Olympian Glenn Parker can jump that far. The crack goes all the way up to the surface. I can see moonlight shining down. If my arms were that long, I'd be able to cross the bridge too. A high pressure cleaner. We did a lot of silly things with one of those when we were kids. One dude lost an eye. It works. Someone excavated an ancient relief with a high pressure cleaner. Looks like they were real professionals. The pressure gun is connected firmly to the compressor by a hose. Where to put it? The hose is long enough. That might work. The pressure gun is inserted in the crack. I'll pull it back out of the crack. The hose connects the pressure gun with the compressor, if everything is assembled properly, of course. The hose doesn't work without the pressure cleaner. I managed to unscrew the pressure gun from the compressor hose. The hose connects the pressure gun with the compressor. The hose doesn't work without the gun section of the pressure cleaner. I'll load the red dust into the pressure gun. I've loaded it with dust. I've screwed the pressure gun back on.
where to put it. Alright, let's see what happens. The dust was blasted upwards through the crack in the rock. Okay, I'll go back up. Always good to carry some water on you. A bottle of clean enough water. According to my markings, the ruined bridge should be right below me. Wipe it away after it took me so long? No. The shaft fits through the chain links perfectly. I've pushed the shaft through the last chain link. 